predictions, forecasts, lucky charms. Get the dope with your horoscope. Fortune tellers, how droll. Uh, stop the coach. Sire, they may be bandits. Oh, Bobbycock. Welcome once again to the online fortune-telling sideshow, where I use Ogre Battle Tarot cards to tell the future. I use etymology, or the study of someone's name, and basic arcana knowledge to tell the player's fortune. During these first rounds, I use character archetypes rather than actual people. If you want one done for yourself, leave a comment with your preferred alias or name. Today's archetype is called The Judge. The judge is someone who calls on higher authority and uses sound reasoning to make judgments on somebody's life. However, is he ready for a judgment on his own life? Let's see. The first question is, if a demon demanded your most treasured possession, what would it be? Is it your life, your family, or your treasure? Since the judge answers to the higher authority of law, or whether he answers to the higher authority of heaven, he still chooses his family because he has an obligation to protect them. This is assuming that the judge is not allowed to lie about telling the demon what his most treasured possession is. The next question is, what character trait do you most lack when ruling a country? The judge, by definition, has a responsibility for efficiency and putting things into action. So what he most lacks is expansionism. That trait has the least to do with being a judge. Otherwise, it is a judge's responsibility to quickly and efficiently dispense with the law and put it into action. The next question is, is the night before a battle and you're looking at the moon, what are you thinking of? This question has the least to do with the judge, but it does have to do with his character. The judge needs to live to put others first in order to be a responsible judge. And the most genuine way to do that is to think of his family first. Which is why I pick family. The next question is, after a difficult battle your army was defeated, what is the cause of the defeat? The judge cannot live by holding himself responsible and saying his own leadership was the problem. He can also not hold himself unaccountable by saying it's a lack of military strength. Therefore, he chalks it up to destiny. The judge lives by making decisions using powers that are beyond his control. The next question again says your army was defeated and forced to retreat. What do you do as a result of your mistake? The judge would in fact retire from his post because he would see it as the due penalty for the mistake that he made. He judges himself along with everybody else. The next question says, a traitor is discovered in your ranks and what do you do with him? Since cruel and unusual punishment isn't allowed, the selection I make is kill the traitor. The judge would not forgive him by banishment but he would execute punishment, and he would have the traitor put to death. And now it's time for the Hand of Fate to begin to do its work. Oh, incredible! Floating spirits. The selection is the Chariot who carries the Hammer of Judgment. He does not get the Judgment card because he is not the higher authority of Judgment. He is the executor of Judgment, which is why the Chariot carries the Hammer. Now, to prevent the readings from getting stagnant, we're also going to do the first three tarot cards you get on the first level. The first card is Death, which, by itself, means Strength. And if it's not in junction with anything else, it does mean Strength. However, it means Strength bought with Hardship. The next selection is Priestess, meaning you will encounter a mystery, but it will have positive results. He will meet a lovely female or a facsimile of a female, and it will be his road to compassion and possibly his lover. The next selection is Fool, which means luck, and in this case it's good luck. This is opposed to Fortune, which is completely random luck. And now it's time to see the strength of the party. Once again, the main character uses Ayanuki, which means he's best at physical strength and fighting in the front row. His main companion is a Valkyrie, a holy warrior. She represents the higher power he calls upon to make his judgments. 
Ultimately, though, he must rely on his own reasoning ability to see through his victory. This may mean that he seems to be a harsh judge. However, good fortune comes his way, and a good spirit in the form of the priestess shows him compassion. As an extra display of fortune, he quickly wins his first battle and is blessed with victory. And that is the conclusion of this fortune-telling sideshow. Hopefully it seems fun enough for people to start making their own submission. Thanks, and I'll see you next time. I'd like to take this moment to direct your attention to the video description, where I'm commissioned to promote developments in software and technology. Please view the links as it helps me finance my channel. <laughs> Lucky charms. After them, you fools!